Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make custom DLC songs for Dance Central 3 because a lot of you guys have been asking me how I make those routines. In this video I'm going to show my methods that I use to make my customs. Before we begin, I also want to clarify that I'm not an expert at creating customs even though I made over 40 customs at the moment, I'm still learning about this whole thing. And I want to show my progress that I've made so far. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to make a custom routine for the song Pause by Pitbull. I think it's not a surprise for some people. But anyway, alright, let's begin. For audio editing, I use FL Studio because it's my go-to software that I use for editing audio for my customs. And in this software, you can detect the song's tempo. Of course, you can look up on the internet, but it's not always accurate. Okay, so in the software, what I do is that I zoom in the timeline and now I drag the song to the timeline on the right. For my customs, I mostly leave the song as it is, but there are some occasions where I need to cut some parts. But for this song, I decided to leave it untouched, except for the first few seconds before the song starts. To cut the part of the track, I use the magnifying glass icon to zoom in and the slice icon to cut the track. I right click on the mouse to delete the unwanted part and I click on the left corner of the track and select detect tempo. Then I choose the option 75 to 150 and I just wait a couple of seconds and it says the song has 128 bpm. So let's go with that. After I make sure everything is on the beat, now I can export the track. I go to the file and select export and for my custom I need two audio files. I make sure I have these options turned on and I do the same with audio files. Okay, so now that I have these files, what I do first is that I open Boomi, which is a software that you can create and build custom dance central routines with. And in my opinion, it's a beginner friendly software because it has features that helps you with making customs. And when I started my journey with customs, I used this software for some time before I moved on to Hand Builder. But I still use Boomi for visualization of the choreography. So when I want to create a completely new song, I click on the new song option. I choose the folder where I want my song to be saved in. Then I type the name of the song in lower caps. And I have to select the folder with installed moves. This is what Boomi looks inside. On the sidebar, there are several options. But keep in mind the software is still in beta. So it's not fully complete as there are some missing moves. And there are some moves that are not working or they're just broken. In the Song Events tab, I click on the Edit icon to change BPM. The changes apply after I click the plus button to add measures. I think 100 will be enough. And to make sure to save the changes. I also need to replace the audio file with one that I created earlier. Just replace that audio file in the folder where the custom is saved. And I also need to switch between the tabs to see the changes. For the song intro, I use the rest moves because those are the intros of the songs that are in the Central games. And I cannot use them in the middle of the routine. I click on the move on the top right and it automatically gets added to the imported moves section. I do the same with the dance moves. Then I will have all of my imported moves in the Move Choreography tab and I can drag and drop them in a timeline. When it comes to inspirations for the choreography, I most of the time check the song lyrics and see what moves I can use for interpretation. Sometimes I select the moves depending on the beat of the song and occasionally on the fanmates if I want to create a song that was based off my fanmates from the past. But most importantly, I want to have fun while creating a custom. Because I do this for fun and I love experimenting with different dance moves and it's okay to make changes in a choreo. It's not like I just put one move and that's it. Just see what's the best for you and I hope one of these methods I explained to you will help you to get inspired. If you don't know how the moves look like, I recommend to watch the gameplays and check the Dance Central wiki page because it has all the moves listed with flashcards. One eternity later. Okay, so I finished the routine. I mainly use Boomi just for making the choreography because it has a timeline. So I can see how the choreography is going to look like based on the flashcards. 
and the rest I'll do with Hand Builder. But you can build a song in Boomi too. However, there are some things that you have to do before you build a song. So in Boomi, it is required to make a routine for lower levels. But with this wand icon, it generates for you, which saves you a lot of time. But sometimes the auto generation can be messed up and you eventually have to fix it manually. And you can generate the practice mode sections as well. Alright, so this is song metadata, which is where you put all the details that needs to be in a custom song. I leave the sound file as it is. Here I can normally write the title of the song with the capital letter, write the artist. You also need to randomize the song ID to avoid collision between songs. However, there is an issue that the game doesn't see the song even though the file is inside. So you have to randomize the song ID several times to make the game actually see the file with the song. Here I write down all the details like BPM, year when the song was released, album name, and rank means difficulty. But you have to write down numbers from 0 to 699. Each range of 100 represents a difficulty level. For the preview of the song in the song list menu, I don't want the song to be played from the beginning. So I have to change the value. The rest I just leave it as it is. Because I don't want to mess things up. Because if I do something wrong, it won't let me build a song. To change the album cover of the custom song, click on it and select the image that you want to replace with. Make sure the size is 512 by 512 pixels. Here I can decide who is going to be the default character of the song. So for this particular song, I'm going to choose Angel, and for the outfit, I choose DCI Agent. And then I have to select Street Style, because that's one of the outfits that are available from the start. And for backup character, I'm going to pick Aubrey, obviously. I leave the venue as it is, but you can change it to whatever you want. And after I check everything is correct, I click Save Metadata, and then click Save on the left sidebar. Then I click Build and Save. Then I check in Package Song and proceed to build. It can take a while, but after it finishes building the song, you'll get the file of the song that you can put it via Horizon, just like you want to install other DLCs. When you open Dance Central 3, check if the song is in there and begin to test it. If everything is working, then you have finally made your custom DLC song. Alright, so what I do nowadays is that after I finish the song, I open Notepad++ because I'm going to work with Hand Builder, which is a tool that helps you build a song for Dance Central 3. But you can also make a custom song for Dance Central 1 and 2. If you want me to make a tutorial on how to make custom songs for these two games, let me know in the comments. After you download the zip file, you need to extract it. From what I noticed is that the most common mistake people do is that they click on the app. Don't do that. You have to install Notepad++, which is a free open source text editor for Windows operating systems. Yep, this is getting advanced here. In the NPP folder, you have two folders that you need to replace in the folder where the Notepad++ was installed. In your computer, type this path and it will direct you straight to the folder and then you drag and drop these two folders from NPP to here. After that you open Notepad++, before you write down everything, make sure to save your file. Go to Files, Save All As, and type the name of the song and type here. Make sure the Append extension is enabled. And then click Save. As you can see, the layout was changed. Make sure the encoding is set to UTF-8 and language is set to Hemp Project UDL. Now it's time to write down the data of the song. Don't worry, luckily we have the guide that has all the structures that we need to make a custom routine. Everything is linked in the description of this video. Okay, so the first thing I do is that I write down the data and everything has to be written in closed parentheses. So for the name, I write the song title. As you can see, everything is highlighted. It means that everything is correct and it will work perfectly fine. Artist is pretty self-explanatory. For album cover and audio, I just write down the name of the files.
For the moves, I write down expert, which means I'm going to create a routine for hard mode. And that's all I need to do because hand build generates everything automatically, like routines for low difficulties, camera angles, etc. Basically, everything generates automatically. You just need to create a routine for hard mode only. Sections are like recaps for practice mode, but you don't have to write it down. But I want to keep everything organized, so I write them down anyway. For the moves, I just copy the ID and as you can see, it shows the list of the moves because Hand Builder is a complete tool and you can modify the moves by commands. If I want to flip a move horizontally, like it was in Dance Central Spotlight for example, I write down the flip command next to the name of the move so the game will know this move was transformed to the left and vice versa and the flashcard will reflect the new direction. Using hand build can also fix the dancer's feet getting stuck during transition. Of course, you can fix it by adding different camera angles manually and the dancer's position will reset automatically. But with this command I'm going to show you, it will save you a lot of time. Next to the name of the dance move, type the command. You can do for one specific foot if you want to, but I personally use the command for both and it will automatically reset the dancer's feet during the transition between the moves. This command will release the dancer's specified foot, left or right, from the floor during a transition. It can be an in transition or an out transition. This command modifies the dancer's foot, meaning that the dancer's right foot is to the left of the player and vice versa. This command should be used if you notice one of the dancer's feet getting stuck on the floor during a move transition. You can also copy and paste the commands, so you don't have to type them every time. When you're happy with the routine, click the Run tab and select Run option. Click on the free dot button, navigate to where Handbuild was extracted to and select Handbuild.xe. Surround this path with double quotation marks in front at this path. Including the double quotation marks, the final path will look like this. Click on save and give it the name Build Hand Project. On the key list, select F6 and click OK. You may close the Run window by clicking on X to exit and now you just click run and the window will pop up with the hand builder tool and it will build a song in the output folder you get the file and you can install it via horizon to your game the song will be added to the library immediately because the song id is generated automatically in order to prevent song collisions the difference is that the dancer's face expression changes based on the move that was present on the original song and the lights during the peak are generated based on the bass line drum of the track but I still have a lot to learn and I'm not very advanced with the tool yet. I just wanted to show basic features and methods that I use for my customs. If you made this far, please leave a like on this video, comment and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye!